here, one of the partners of Psych2Go. I hope all of you have been doing well. I know I've been missing, but now I'm back. You know, life gets tough sometimes. We go through up and downs, but you know, just remember to smile and I promise you everything will be okay. So I'm here to say that we have finally hit 2 million subscribers on YouTube and I'm so thankful for each and every one of you and we couldn't have done it without you guys. You know, Psych2Go was built as a community of people or for a community of people to come to during the hard times, whether it's depression, anxiety, relationship problems, whatever it was. We built this company for people to connect with each other, to relate and know that you're not alone. And I'm so happy and so thankful for each and every single one of you. And it couldn't have been here without you guys. So I'm here to tell you about our great friend. His name is Coach Bauman. And he has recently did a video on our site to go magazines. And his YouTube channel is Your Favorite Coach. And what it is, is he is a counselor and he talks to you it's like he's having a conversation with you from heart to heart and he connects with you about inner peace and positivity. And honestly, after watching his videos, he is now my favorite coach and he will soon be your favorite coach too. So show him some love, go follow him, subscribe to his channel on his Instagram, social media, whatever it is, and just show him some love, okay? Anyways, that's it for now and I'll see you guys next time, okay? Being a parent is probably one of the most important jobs. Right now, there's an entire generation of young children who will one day inherit the earth. Parents aren't just building a family, they're building the future of our society. Raising children in a healthy way should be a huge priority for everyone. But the sad truth is that poor parenting is linked to 10 psychological factors. Number 1. Parents who've gone through psychological distress are more likely to mistreat their kids. What happens when a parent suffers from serious mental distress? Some psychologists will tell you that parents affected with psychological distress may treat their own children with hostility and rejection. For example, they might push their children away after dealing with something terrible because they just want to be left alone. Studies have shown that when parents reject their children, they cause all kinds of issues in their little ones. These issues include sleep problems and listlessness. In this case, at least, it seems like the psychological issues that the parents are facing are projecting and harming their children. In effect, these children may develop psychological issues as a result of reoccurring abuse. Number 2. Depressed parents can show a total lack of emotion towards their kids. Depression is a very common mental disorder, but what happens when parents develop it? How does it affect their children? One 2018 study revealed that depressed parents do not show proper sentiments or emotions towards their children or their feelings about parenting responsibilities are assumed negative. To combat this, one researcher proposed a radically different treatment approach, one that focused on the entire family unit instead of the individual alone. Number 3. Children show less trust towards parents with low self-esteem issues. Low self-esteem is something most of us have struggled with at some point. But what happens when children see their parents suffering from this? One study found that low self-esteem had an impact on the trust between parents and children. Interesting research shows that self-esteem radically impact our perception of our own relationships. When we have low self-esteem, we might believe that our relationships are much worse than they actually are. Parents might believe that they have a strained relationship with their children, when really, it's not all that bad. Number 4. Poor parenting is linked to early psychopathy. A lot of YouTubers right now are talking about sociopathy and psychopathy, and it's been really enlightening. Psychopathy is characterized by antisocial and immoral behavior, issues with romantic relationships, and extreme egocentricity. But did you know that early psychopathy can be caused by poor parenting? More specifically, one 2017 study stated that harsh discipline and insensitivity could contribute to early psychopathy and other behavioral problems. The consequences of this are quite severe. Many times, parents who try to correct psychopathic behavior at a young age end up making it worse. A child's mind is plastic and changeable when they are young, which means that if intervention isn't successful during childhood, psychopathy could end up being a permanent thing in the future. Number 5. Parents who have been abused as children can result in less empathy with their kids. Parents raise their kids with an eye to the past, 
to their own childhoods. But what happens if these parents experienced abuse when they were young? One study stated that mothers with sexual abuse history in childhood may suffer from greater parenting stress, which can lead to diminished empathy with their own children. Simply put, this means that mothers who have been abused have a hard time connecting and bonding with their young ones. Studies have shown that children who grow up without a good initial bond are less likely to be happy and resilient. Number 6. Anxiety disorder in kids is linked to poor parenting. Interestingly enough, poor parenting is linked to anxiety disorder in children. New research has found that anxiety disorder is linked to over-controlling parents who don't give their children enough independence. These children find it hard to control their own behavior and achieve independence. If you've been controlled for your whole life, it's hard to start taking things into your own hands. Number 7. Irrational and uneducated beliefs in mothers is linked with more behavioral problems in their daughters. Every parent wants to provide their children with a solid, rational education. It's one of the most important tools you can provide your child with. So how does education levels in parents impact their children? One study came to the conclusion that younger mothers with lower levels of education are more likely to have daughters with behavioral problems. Number 8. Lack of parental warmth is linked with higher anxiety. Different parents have different approaches when it comes to raising their kids. Some like to be very authoritative, while others like to be more laid back. But when it comes to anxiety in children, a very important factor is how warm parents are towards their children. This was confirmed by a 2003 study, which found that perceived parental warmth was positively associated with active coping and negatively correlated with trait anxiety in adolescents. Number 9. Authoritarian parents can cause their kids to become depersonalized. Depersonalization disorder is where people feel like they're disconnected from their own bodies and thoughts, almost like they're watching themselves from the outside looking in. One study examined multiple different parenting styles, including authoritarian, permissive, authoritative, and indifferent. Among other things, they discovered that authoritarian parents had children which showed higher scores on depersonalization. Number 10. Crime-filled neighborhoods are linked to poor parenting. First, let's examine what can cause poor parenting. Research has shown that a parent who lives in a bad neighborhood can be severely impacted by their environment, and this can actually affect their children in a negative way as well. Simply put, this means that bad neighborhoods can result in poor parenting. Hey, my name is Christian Brazosa. I did the music and animation for this video, and I'm here to thank you guys for watching. As some of you guys might have noticed, I do read the comments and occasionally respond, and I couldn't help but notice how many people out there have discovered something about themselves through our videos. Given the nature of the previous topic, we felt it necessary to provide a few different resources for anybody who might be going through some tough times. I'd also recommend Pantsless Pajamas video on abuse for a more personal take on the subject. Like and comment below, and know that I mean it when I say I hope things get better. Thanks for watching.